What's up everyone? I am T Rave and this is my daily report, just something I found interesting on the interwebs. And today I am shooting with a brand new camera, so hopefully the video and audio sounds and looks good. Um, but on the topic of new cameras, the Digital Bolex is now out in the wild. Uh, if you're not familiar with the Digital Bolex, it was a Kickstarter campaign that was that took place in 2012, and it took quite a bit of time for them to actually get the model out. Now, in that year, they actually said, hey, it'll be out in like August, I believe, um, and they're... People, the people who actually put money down um, are just now getting uh, the pre-orders, essentially. And one of those people is Philip Bloom. Uh, Philip Bloom is a camera operator that does a shit ton of reviews. Uh, sorry for the language there. But like he does a great job of taking a lot of cameras that you may not get your hands on and doing a really solid review. Now, uh, the Digital Bolex, he got the number two one. So down below will be a link to the actual Digital Bolex website, but as well as Philip Bloom's review. Since I don't have the camera, I can't really speak on it other than it looks really freaking awesome. Um, it is a throwback to Bolex um, that if you're a film student, you, you've you probably spent way too much time with. Um, it's exciting because the form factor is so nostalgic. Um, but the interesting thing is that it's not from actual Bolex. Um, Bolex allowed them license the name to this group of uh this group to use their name on the camera now it looks really awesome uh i'll allow philip bloom if you're willing to sit through a 45 minutes uh, uh review to well check out this camera i'll let him do more of the describing because like i said i haven't touched it it's just really cool to look at now at thirty three hundred dollars has it been worth the wait uh is it worth it for anyone to just pick up and go with it eh. um but that's your choice to make on it if you are interested in film or have ever heard of the name bullocks or just a fan of kickstarter and the products that come out of it later check out the digital bullocks and that's what i found interesting because like i said these just got out into the wild uh philip bloom had i think vert uh the second the second one ever made um at least to the public and he does a good job of reviewing it like i said it's a 45 minute review you'll hear that it's not a great low light camera multiple times but i'll allow you to watch it and make your uh assumptions and your decision uh if bullex will go into your camera bag so that's what i found interesting on the interwebs today thank you for watching i will see you tomorrow